right. Everything else is kind of not important, so it would be n to the m minus 1, x to the m minus 1, um, plus a n minus 2, x to the m minus 2. So, We're gonna explain about it. We're gonna explain everything. Okay. So the only thing that's in color, that's the only thing that's important. So this, it, this are the only thing that's important. So <clears throat> this one, there's a name for that, which is the highest one, which is, is called leading coefficients. You hear me say that all the time? And that n is going to tell me degree of the functions. Didn't you have this on the board yesterday? No. So that is going to be two things. So <clears throat> now let's <clears throat> review a little bit. Um, what are the terminology, the basic polynomial terminology? Now, this one is called a monomial. So, monomial. Is I say 3x squared? That's monomial. Okay. We also learn about binomial. That's going to be like say 3x squared plus 2. And I can have a trinomial. 
and it's going to be 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. Then I can have a polynomial, which is 4 or more, so it's going to be example that it's going to be 3x to the third plus 2x squared plus 4x minus 1, or could be, let's say, 4x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth plus 2x to the three plus 3x plus 2x plus 1. So those are the perfect example of all the things. So if I have one term is a monomial, two term is binomial, three term is trinomial, four or more term is called polynomial. Now degree of function has few different kinds. Um, you can have a linear degree. <clears throat> you have a first degree, and uh, you have a second degree, third degree, fourth degree. So we're going to talk about if it's a second degree. So let's just say if I have something like this, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is actually a trinomial, but this one is it's called quadratic. So it's a quadratic because the second degree, second degree, because the second degree from here, okay? Now, can they have a third degree? Well, yeah, you can have a third degree. So what is the name for third degree? It's called cubic. So let's say 4x to 3 plus 2x. This one is called a cubic. Cubic. There's a cubic binomial. Four, there is a name for that. So this is, if it is third degree, it's called cubic. The degree of function is third degree. Now, if I write it like this, it's still cubic. So if if I write down 2x equal to 4 uh, plus 4x to the 3. So sometimes I ask you like this. I say, okay, <clears throat> how do I classify this polynomial? You're going to say, well, the highest degree is this one, not this one. So therefore, it's still a cubic binomial. So it's cubic binomial. So what are you supposed to write in this way? This way is called descending order. Descending order, that means order has to go down three, two, one. <coughs> Usually practice to write like that. You don't write it differently. So this is called cubic binomial. <clears throat> now what if it's a fourth, fourth degree? I can have fourth degree, so let's think about 3x plus 4x to the second plus 3x to the fourth. Now, what's the degree of function on this one? It's first or second or fourth? It's a fourth because the fourth is the highest one. So we should rewrite it, right? So that left with a 3x to the fourth plus 4x second plus 3x. Therefore, if this is a four, it's called quartic. 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 Which is normally you don't see that. This is quartic trinomial. So you should learn that in uh, algebra one. So <clears throat> With this case, you know how to name them, how to classify them. But it doesn't tell me a lot of information about this one. So we say, okay, what is more important information? Well, usually when I'm talking about a graph, I usually talk about how to solve first, which is we learn how to solve before. Uh, we're going to review the solving equation part. So today I'm going to give you some equation that you have to solve for, some radical equation, some things like that, um, uh, quadratic equation, like um, exponential equation. We're going to review some of those. But we're going to come back says, well, go back to look at the graph first. You know, we, we spent like whole three weeks on graphing. All the piecewise function, all, all the things like that. We're going to go back, see if we know how to graph. 
Grab a line. Do you know how to grab a line? Okay? Horizontal line. Good. That means x equal to or y equal to some number. Can you write grab a vertical line? Yeah, but how do I name that equation? Sorry, x equal to some number. Do you grab y equal to 2x plus 2? Do you know how to grab y minus 1 equal to 2 parenthesis x minus 1? Do you know how to grab all the piecewise function? How the absolute value function? How the radical equation? The piecewise function? All that, you're going to think about how to graph all that. But right now, we're going to focus on polynomial. Why is polynomial important? Because polynomial has everything we learned before, but we just have a different notation. What's the name? Bring that to here so I can go it here. Just make sure I can cover this whole part. <coughs> Okay, so let me lift up. Oh, no. <laughs> That's great. I can't see how it works. Yes, Tommy. Yeah, you can see the whole board. Alright, so <clears throat> we're going to talk about this thing called the leading coefficient test. The leading coefficient test. What does the leading coefficient test tells me? So, tells me. The m behavior of a function of a functions. But what are the two things that tells me m behavior function? There are two things. One is the degree of a functions. Second, and it's going to be um, the leading coefficients. <coughs> what is my option for degree of a function? Well, I can have two options. One is the odd degree versus even degree. Okay, and the leading coefficient is going to tell us me positive versus negative. <coughs> okay, so I can have a those two things. Now, what we're going to do is going to analyze those. We're going to say, well, according to this, there's two options here, right? And there's also two options. If two options and two options, how many together, how many total options they are? Four. 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 So it's two times two. So we're going to build a hashtag. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay. Um, that's the wrong one thing for hashtag. Put two text up. You go first. All right. X in the middle. X in the middle? Yes. <laughs> and I'll go uh, here. <laughs> X to the right middle. X to the right middle? Yeah. You're stupid. It'll end up in a tie. There's no other yeah. way. There's no other way. X in the middle bottom. X in the middle bottom. Middle bottom here. Margaret. There's no way. It's a tie. 
Wait, 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 wait. Actually, top left. Actually, top left. You would. Oh. Not gonna win. It's a tie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. It started with the third movie. You guys know how to combine a film? Yeah. It's actually a bachelor expert. I think I go for it. Who's bad at TikTok though? I'm really good at it. Very good at it? Yeah. yeah okay, that's me versus Agent. Oh, alright. Then you're not going to get a first. Oh, oh, oh. Freaking clown. <laughs> Come on, man. Huh? Why is your ex so slow? Why is your ex so AJ, AJ, you lost. Uh, you lost. Yeah, yeah, lost. Yeah, lost. Right there. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's over. Look at you. Look at you. That's a good game. That's a good game. That's a good game. AJ, wait, wait, wait. AJ did on purpose. Yeah, he'd lose on purpose. He didn't want to embarrass me. So, thank you, AJ. Is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, let's call it that. Let's call it that. <laughs> Okay, so um, so what we're gonna build in right here is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna do this one as a degree is even. I like to start with the even because degree is even is the easiest one, and then that's gonna be degree is odd. Okay, and here we're gonna say A is a positive. So A value is a number in front of here. Uh, a is negative. But for me, like I always think of math and the easiest thing. I don't memorize this chart ever, ever. But I can't remember what's the easiest thing can be because the thing is about math, you think about the simplest thing, the, the <laughs> hardest thing apply its accent way as well. So I'm gonna think about what's the easiest even degree function and you can think of. And let's think about just monomial. What's the easiest even degree function that's monomial that you can think of? And you know the graph of. Oh ready? X squared, thank you. So y equal to x squared. Is this an even degree? Is this number in front of here is a positive? Right? Is a positive, right? So that's even degree and positive. If I know how this graph behaves, okay, I know how this graph behaves. I know what happened at the end. So this is called end behavior. End behavior, what happened to her? The left side, and what happened to the right side? And Julie, are you listening? Yeah. Okay. So usually, in your algebra two teacher is going to tell you that is this is an up up situation. Up. up. Yeah. Oh, up, because, up. Okay. So if I go in this side, and I always read it from the left first. On the left side, it's going to be up up, the up. <laughs> On the right side, it's going to be up. Or sometimes people draw this arrow thing. But I think that's silly, but that's okay. Um, let's finish all of them. Now, what if degree is even and A is negative? Think about easiest graph that you can know about it. Negative x squared. Negative x squared. Negative x squared. Ah, I said it first. So negative x squared, so that is gonna be the graph. You know what negative x squared look like? It's the same thing but downward. It's same thing but downward, right? So in this case, it's gonna be on the left side. It's gonna be down, down. So you always read from left to right, just like how you read a book, and uh, or some people put it like this notation, which is I don't like it, but that's okay. Now let's think about degrees odd. What's the easiest odd degree that you can think of? X cube is one of them, but there's actually one easier than that. Just x, good. So why go to x? Why? Because x to the first power. 
x to the first power is going to behave like a line. Hopefully you know what a line looks like. It's going to go this way. And the y equal to negative x. Then that's going to go this way. You guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I can say this side is what? Down, up, right? And this one is what? Up, down. And that's going to be like this, like this, or like this, like this. I don't like this notation, so we're going to talk about what's the notation I prefer you to write. <clears throat> now this one's kind of intimidating, but it's not. You just have to say, I can do this shit. I like that. Okay, so... How do I say I can do this shit in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> you probably teach me to say something really, really. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, puedo. Yo what? puedo. Yo puedo. Hacer. 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 Like to do. So H. 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 What's mierda mean? Shit. <laughs> mierda? Yeah. Yo puedo hacer esta mierda? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. 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 Shit's okay. You can handle shit. Okay. Oh, the other one too? Yeah, it's okay. Yo puedo hacer esta mierda. See, I can learn more Spanish than if you learn math. <laughs> they never told me that when I moved to the United States. Really? Yeah, they told me all the bad words. But like, this is okay. They should have teach me this first. In my ESO class. <laughs> they teach me something like, at least is a bad word, but at least is yeah, constructive. You can use, yeah. yeah, constructive. Not just like cursing other people out. You know? Okay, so, anyway. So don't get me fired now. <laughs> Everything is digital food. <laughs> <laughs> it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's YouTube. I'm not going back into my video right now. Oh, you can get the video off of the This is education that you put in your Okay, so. So, so, so now how do I write in the notation I want you to write? Because we're learning about Algebra 2, but Algebra 2 has a weird notation. It's not, it's incomplete, so I don't like that notation. So I'm going to teach you a pre-count notation. So next year, because, because <laughs> that, it's just missing three letters. The notation that they have in Algebra 2 is just missing three letters. And that three letter kind of throw everybody out. But it's not that bad. So I'm going to show you, it's actually doable. That three letter is L-I-M. L-I-M stands for limits. L-I-M? L-I-M. On the bottom of L-I-M, there is an X. Approach. Okay? Now, a lot of you guys never seen this sign. It's called infinity sign. But this is not only an infinity sign. It's actually negative infinity. Negative infinity. Infinity is like sideway 8. Yeah, yeah, we learned that. Yeah, we learned that. Yeah, we learned that. Yeah, we learned that. Oh, you, you know how to... We learned this beginning. If you know how to do what... What's that? Renegade? Oh. <laughs> did you learn it? Keep it going. Keep it going. When you do it like this, it's actually an eight, right? Infinity, right? No, man. I came up to school and Bridget was teaching you. I remember. <laughs> okay, so f of x oh is equal to uh, negative infinity. 
and that, oh no, this is past infinity, sorry. I'm gonna explain this in a second. I know it looks confusing, it looks really intimidating, but it's okay. You're gonna show, show, I'm gonna show you, it's actually very easy to break down. Okay. So by looking at this, it's so freaking scary, but it's not. Let's break it as small pieces. Now, this way, I will say this, as a function going left, the y value is going up. So first, I'm gonna teach you how to write, how do I use the limit to write left? Left means this, limit x approach negative infinity, because x, right? x going negative infinity, that means this way. Does that make, make sense? Negative infinity. That means when x going all the way to the left. Now, what happened to the f of x. So this means when x approaching left. Okay, left, why? x approaching negative infinity, that means left. So how do I do lim uh, when x approaches right? There we go, so limit as x approach past infinity, that means when x approach right. Okay? Now what happened to the y value? See the y value, this side is going up. So after the equal sign, so after the equal sign, so I'm gonna say after the equal sign here, after the equal sign here, if I say if it's a positive infinity, it's going up. If it's negative, it's going down. Okay, so if I say, I can have possible two ways, right? I can have positive infinity, that means it's gonna go up, okay? So if I equal to, if I this, it's gonna be positive infinity, that means function is gonna go up. If it's negative infinity, that means function is gonna go down. It's really de defined by here. Are we okay here? Yes. Okay, so now, Whatever after equal sign, that tells me what? Up or down. In this case, it's a they both, sorry, they both up, right? Yeah. They both up. Does that make sense? So what I want you to do is I want you to practice write this one properly with the limits. X approaches something. Now, this is a notation. So for a lot of the, you guys that don't understand mathematic, mathematic is a notation fluency. So for example, if you do computer engineering, you're gonna recognize what's the syntax, okay? So a lot of you guys need to learn, okay, what does syntax mean? What's the exclamation mean in terms of computer language, okay? Um, what does um, string mean? Oh, I know that. Yeah, I, I actually don't know that. Well, you're brown, so. Brown? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are the brown. Yeah. Computer engineering. Would you write the um? Write this part. I want you to write this part. All right. Yeah. In the correct notation, it's a limit notation. So how do you write it properly? Which one is with this one? It's always start with the left though. See, this always start with left. This always start with right. So every one of them has this. Every one box has this. You just write it properly. So when you just be negative You guys almost done? Yeah, I'll give you a second. <laughs> Aren't they both just negative infinity? Yep, they are. So, how do I write it? I'm gonna write left first. Always write left first. Limit x approach negative infinity of f of x. Why do I write f of x? That just means, well, what happened to the output? And in this case, it's equal sign. Don't forget about equal sign. 
it's going negative infinity. Because before here, it's telling me going left. After the equal to the sign, it's telling me up or down. So this is left, right? And after that, it's going to tell me up or down. So it, in this case, it's down. So limit as an x approach to positive infinity of f of x equal sign, don't forget about equal sign, is equal to negative infinity. So write this couple correctly. Now this one, second one, has a little bit harder because it has some negative signs, but it's not so much harder because everything is very intuitive. <laughs> Math is not scary, just kind of like Confusing. Your play though has said it's not me at that. Is the accent very really bad? Probably. Yeah. Or sorry. I'll teach the lesson in Chinese one day. Oh, yes, sir. I would enjoy that. Okay, we still don't understand it though. Yeah. <laughs> you are whitewashed Chinese. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what's a whitewash Chinese? They call it. They call it banana. ABC. No, they call it banana. <laughs> Why? Because outside yellow skin, inside white. <laughs> yeah. For the bottom one, is it X? This one, this is always like the same thing. Limit x approach to negative infinity, limit x approach to positive infinity. That's what means left, this is means right. But this one's a negative infinity, and both sides gonna go down, so it's both negative infinity. So this one's different though. Which one does it say? Is it positive They're both a negative infinity right here. This one's a positive infinity, this one's a negative infinity. Yeah, I always start with negative infinity for the limit x approach or something. That means it's approaching left. How about here? That's negative. Positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. Okay, so write down limits though. X oh, yeah. approaching what? Right. Always write down approaching left first. Yeah. It's equal to what? Negative. negative. Good. And the limit as an X approach to positive infinity of f of x is always the same thing. That's equal to positive infinity. And in this case, it's going to be limit as an X approach to negative infinity of f of x is equal to positive infinity and the limit as the x approach to positive infinity of f of x is equal to negative infinity. So the correct way to write end behavior is like this. So next year when you take pre cal you're going to be like, oh yeah, this I got it. Got it? I think. Wait, does it matter if we write if we write like um this one? Do we write positive first and then negative? Or do we have to write negative first and then I always write left and right. Okay. Always left and right. Okay. Always write left and right. So you think about it, a lot of times that you say, well, this is uh, very difficult, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start asking you to write properly now. So can I erase this? Now you guys have this, right? Okay, so I'll wait a little bit. Okay, so we're going to give you a full possible equation that we're going to ask you to write it and think about what is the leading coefficient in this case. So sometimes it might be in the wrong order, sometimes it may be right order. So let's say 4x to the third minus 2x to the second plus x minus 1. <laughs> y equal to uh, negative 2 x squared uh, next to the fourth plus 2 x squared. 3, y equal to, be careful on the second, the third one, okay? I'm going to change it a little bit. So negative 2 x 
to the third plus 2x um, plus 5x to the fifth. Um, so make sure you write the sending order first, so that way you don't mess up on this. So y equal to uh, negative 2x plus 4x squared. Uh, negative 7x to the 7. Okay, so uh, I want you to write m behavior on each term. But remember, what's deciding? The first term that's deciding. But the first term has to be writing in descending order. If you don't write in descending order, so I'll rewrite all this equation, make sure they're descending order. And then just look at the first term. The first term degrees first, and I'm looking at that coefficient. Coefficient is positive or negative. So make sure you write in descending order. How do I write in descending order? So for example, uh, if I have 3x to the square plus 7x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth, I will write down as this, 7x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus 3x squared. I will write it in descending order. Okay, and then I will decide to use a leading coefficient test. So those are the things you have to pay attention. So the last two, you might have to do something like that. The first two is pretty straightforward. But I want you to write it correctly. <coughs> Just do the first two and make sure you do the first two correctly before you move on. The first two question, I want you to write the correct way to describe the leading coefficient test or describe the M behavior. And we can talk about what a graph actually look like. Okay, I'm gonna do the first one. First one, what is designed by M behavior? This one, this one, or this one? It's none of those, right? So it's the first one. Okay? <laughs> and the main thing is this one here and this number here. So let's look at it. It's odd degree or even degree. Odd degree, so the easiest odd degree that you can think about as a positive is this way, right? So can I rewrite? So first question, it's pretty much a down up situation, but how do I write down up? Well, down up is to make sure you understand. So limit, as x approach, negative 30 always. Always approach left first. Limit approach to positive infinity like this. Make sure you write down f of x. Make sure you write equal sign after that. I write everything style the same way. Now, I'm gonna write down, they're gonna go down. So down is going to be negative infinity. After the equal signs told me up or down. Before the equal signs told me left and right. But left and right is always the same order. So that is the answer for the first one. Should you do it right? Yes. Okay, second question. Which one's leading, which one's a higher degree? 
First one. First one. First one. So we don't have to change it, which is good. So then that's going to be uh, even degree. So think about even degree. Even degree is going to go up, up, or down, down. But since it's negative, it's going to go down, down. So down, down. So then, uh, then I'm going to say limit x approach to negative infinity of f of x is equal to what? Negative infinity, good. How about limit as x approach to positive infinity? Is equal to what? Negative infinity still. So the both end of the graph is going to go down. Let's write three. And try four. <laughs> so make sure you identify what's the leading convention. It's no longer the first two term now. It's which term? It's the largest five x. The largest exponent, right? So I will circle that one now, decide it from there. It's hard to draw. So that's going to be a negative. So the biggest one is which one? It's a positive. And the biggest one is this one. So you have to make sure the correct one. So this is even. Even is basically it's gonna go up, up or down, down, but it's positive, so it's gonna go up, up. So limit x approach to negative infinity of f of x is equal to positive infinity. Limit x approach to positive infinity of f of x is equal to positive infinity. And then the next one is gonna be limit x approach to negative infinity of f of x. Limit x approach to positive infinity. Now, I'm going to think about a graph. The graph is going to go this way. So it's going to be positive infinity and then negative infinity. And that's how you do it correctly. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. Every question. You're what? 